Methods of creating a, and placing a baseline in ordinate dimensions. So we want to go up into our annotate tab. We want to hit the down arrow where it says dimension. We're going to pick a linear and angular dimension style. I'm going to go to the linear and yada yada yada. Um, once we get this open, we would like to duplicate this. And I'm going to say duplicate it. And then I'm going to come in here and say, all right, uh, I'm going to go back to hit my home button. And I'm going to type in base line. Base line. Uh, with a dash and linear. I'll say OK. Now I've created a new type of uh, dimension. And then I'm going to come down here. Uh, until we get to the value area. And the um, we want to go, excuse me, we want to go to the dimension string type and click on the value, sorry and then the value I want it to be baseline. Now, you know, similarly if I wanted to have uh, an, in, uh, an ordinate dimension I could choose rename it ordinate and then change this to ordinate but I'm going to just stick with a baseline for this example. Uh, I can change any other property that I want um, and I'm going to say OK and then I can go along and I can dimension various items uh, based on its uh, baseline type method. So when I go into linear, for example, I can come over here and I can pick on my baseline. And so I can go and start with this dot here and then I can go say over to the over to my window. Okay, so I'll pick out my window. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I'll pick on to the edge of the window here. Zoom out a little bit, and I'll place that in there. And I still actually have my alternate units is what I copied from last time. So now I'm creating actually an alternate units and a baseline. But I'm going to go in here and edit my type here. And I'm going to say rename. I'm going to get rid of the alternate units. I'll say OK. And then I'm going to come down and turn those alternate units off. So in here I'll say uh, alternate units. I'll say none. And I'll say apply. I'll say OK. And now those came off. All right. This one here came off. This one is actually from a different type over here. So we'll allow that one to go. So we can create a baseline of ordinate dimensions by going up to the appropriate dimension that we want to deal with. Uh, and and then going in and duplicating it and changing the dimension string type to a baseline or an ordinance.